have I told you guys that I love photo prints? Now I've printed the whole entire wedding album with fine art paper, which I absolutely love. This is the wedding album. If you haven't watched this video, click right here. Now this costs a lot to make because paper and printing can be expensive. Now however, they are absolutely gorgeous and they are fancy to the touch, but pricey. Now sometimes we just want to print something simple for display, which hopefully it doesn't cost too much. Now I sampled something interesting from photo book and it is their new product. It is called the photo tiles. Essentially, photo tiles are 8x8 photographs and they are printed on photo paper and then mounted to a wooden frame, which is then easily mounted on the wall with their reusable adhesive. They are 3 in a set and they are relatively affordable. Now, it's retailing at 99 ringgit per set and often you will be able to find special deals on their website and you can even get it cheaper. Now, I'm going to be purchasing 3 sets of these photo tiles on my own for this video because for one, I'm curious how it looks like and how it feels like and for two, I want to fill up my wall with 3 sets. Now in hope of being transparent, here is my disclaimer. I'm a long time patron of Photobook Worldwide and have been using their product and services for some of my own print products. Photobook did not appoint me to make this video nor did they even know that I'm making this video. Now that's clear, let's dive into the photos that I've selected. I've selected these 9 photographs. Selecting these photos were tougher than I thought. At last, I've decided to select these photos that would potentially be conversation starters. These are photos that I've photographed through the years at various places that I've been to and they have little stories on their own. I've then cropped them to 1 to 1 ratio, a square as required for the photo tile prints. So this is photobook.com.my. I've previously registered an account and used it and if you don't have one, you got to register one with photobook.com.my. And for the photo tiles, it's under home decor, photo tiles. So what it is, it will open up your home page and it says that I can get started. So I'll just get it now and get into ordering these photo tiles. I'm going to select print mount. There's two options over here. It says this is the front mount and this is the back mount. I'll get the back mount and I'm going to be selecting the pine wood latte. These frames are 8x8 in size, hence it's going to be square. One thing I look forward in using this is because of this restrictable adhesive tape, so meaning that I do not need to put in nails. So let's go in into the photo book designer on the website. Um, I'm going to select these 9 photos that I've created previously. So these are the photos that I wanted to print. Let me start from the left to right. 1, 2, 3. Alright. Choose. That's uploading the high res photos. And all I'm going to do is just drag it over here once the photos are uploaded. That's 1. That's 2. That's three. The website will load the preview with lower res photograph to make the interface snappier when using the editor. But rest assured that once I've uploaded the high res just now, it will be printed with the high res photos. So all I'm gonna do is that I could just preview the order and these are the three photographs. I've cropped these images one to one prior to uploading these photos. Hence, I don't need to like readjust them in terms of positioning and that works out pretty good for me. Once you're ready to order, you go into the shopping cart. You can select how many quantity, which is one. Sometimes a photo book has a lot of discounts, uh, vouchers um, and promotions they have on the website. So you can go into the website and pick up the voucher. So under promotion, under daily hot deals, home decoration, and here it has 30% off. So let's say if I click buy now. So under promotions, these are pre-purchase vouchers that you can purchase and you were to purchase three sets, you get 30% off. So there are a lot of promotions available on photo book. Before you go ordering a photo book, check out the promotions available. So this just arrived today. I was waiting for almost a week for this to complete this video. Just to recap, I've ordered three sets of photo tiles. So there are nine photo frames inside. I haven't seen what's inside yet. So let's open this up and check out how this is gonna be. Oh, there you go. It is light. 
that's me on a unicorn. This was taken at uh, Maldives. Let's check out the other ones. Ah, Beijing. The color is pretty nice. I mean, I don't have my monitor next to it to, to compare, but if I were to just look at this print, I'll be happy with it. And the last one from the first, and that's me standing in New Zealand. This is um, Queenstown. This was a photograph that I shot recently. I was in Yangon. This is in Le Lake. This was photographed long time ago in Hong Kong. I do return to Hong Kong quite a bit because I've got family over there. This is the last one from set number two. This is Mount Bromo. Now, the details and colors are pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the print actually. So this photo was taken in Japan. We arrive at Narita Airport and have like 10 hours in transit before we head to San Diego and we visited this township. Can't really remember what's the town name, but I did a vlog about it. My favorite city, Melbourne Tram. Now the crop is a little bit weird. Did I make a mistake? I'm not sure. The city of San Francisco, Bay Area, the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, this was taken in 2016, 1st of January, I reckon. I was there to cover Bruno Mars concert in Las Vegas and we had a day in transit in San Francisco after the New Year's Eve concert. So I've got all these nine tiles laid on the table over here. So this is the back of the print. Uh, it has adhesive over here to be stuck on the wall. The frame, they are pine wood. They are somewhat solid okay I'm, I'm pressing on that pine wood with my nails with a little bit pressure it doesn't dent in but it's also light so i'm this is the pine wood table it's heavy but this pine wood is light. i'm not sure what kind of pine wood is this you know, the good thing is that it do look good i've got to say my initial reaction is that the print does look gorgeous i think they call this the hd print uh it's printed on their hd paper well, in terms of color reproduction, it is not my worry for this exercise because hey, even the Golden Gate Bridge over here, I threw in a filter, he, the, the photo doesn't even look that red. And the Forbidden City, this is supposed to be red, but hey, the filter makes it a little bit dull in color. But that's the mood I'm going for anyway. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. I'm excited, let's hang this on the wall. Welcome to my room, guys. <laughs> small little cozy room yeah. as you can see i've got three fine art prints over there self-printed and it's mounted on ikea frames and i've got an empty wall over here which i'm going to attempt to put on all this night house hopefully i'm able to mount this on the wall and they look straight and center oh before that better be washing my legs because i'm going to jump on my bed let's get going I've got a lot of photographs in my computer, in my hard drive, in my phone and they will never see the light of day if I don't print them out. Maybe on Instagram, but yeah, if that's lucky. What do you guys do with all the photographs that you've captured so far? Are they also in your hard drive and never seeing the light of day? Now, I've got a lot of photographs that's living in my hard drive, in my computer and in my phone. It never got to see the light of day if I don't print them up like this or if they're lucky, they're on Instagram. So what do you guys do with the photographs that you capture? Do you think that these photo tiles work for you for your home decoration, be it in the bedroom, in your living room, wherever you want to put them? Let me know in the comment below. So, hey you guys, you new subscribers, I've been getting a lot of notification from YouTube saying that you guys are subscribing to the channel. So thank you very much and welcome to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Click on subscribe. If you like this video, do thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video.